Today is officially Clorand Day. Not only because I'm building her, but it's also her birthday today, which I didn't intend on, but it is her birthday. I was going to build Nouvellet today because he's the one doing most of the damage, but then I saw it was Clorand's birthday, so I figured it's more fitting to build Clorand. So today is Clorand Day. We are going to be building her and making her do stuff. We're going to try to get her level 90. We are just missing these Lumen Toil things, which I should have enough. Those crystal things, which I probably will not have enough of. And the Electro Chunks, which I can deal with right now. And then we're going to try to get a weapon relatively leveled up as well, because it does need some work. And we are also going to do as much of our talents as we can, which probably won't be that much. So now we should have all of the chunks. We do. Awesome. We need 24 of those crystals, which may or may not happen. We can only craft two and... Oh, okay. That's not very promising. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to need to farm them. Before we go and figure out everything else we need to farm, we obviously need more of our crystals for her talents, which I can't really do too much with. Artifacts are okay at the moment. They're not the best, but we do have some pretty okay-ish pieces with some stats that are decent, which at the moment puts her at a 47 to 184 with 1600 attack and a bit of HP. So it's not bad. Her weapon does need to go up because it's only level 60, but we need these scoop of tainted water and the hand guards. Hand guards, I don't think mm, they might be a problem. Are they going to be a problem? Yes, they are. Okay. Good to know. Not as big of a problem, but could still very well be a problem. Well, we have enough to get this weapon up to 70, so we'll get it to 70. I don't imagine we'll be able to go to like 90 today, but we should get it to at least 80, which is where I want. I could always farm these stuff tomorrow as well because I will probably farm everything I can today. We're also on a little bit of a time constraint, not a huge time constraint, but a little bit of a time constraint because the Wuthering Waves... Shush. The Wuthering Waves 1.3, I think it is, live stream, comes out or goes live in 91 minutes. So I want to get this done kind of quickly. So let's start off with her... Weapon stuff, why not? We'll do these. And as you see on the side, this is the team we're going to run her with. I think it'll work the best because she just kind of needs any sort of electro-related reaction. Doesn't really matter what it is. So we're going to run her with Chevrus because Chevrus basically requires uh, overload. Not ov Yeah, overload. If we run Clorand with Chevrus, then Clorand's still getting the stuff she needs as well as Chevrus getting overload. So we can do more damage with her. And then we have Lynette to have more consistent application of the pyro. And then we just have Emily because I need another character. And it could probably work. I can get some aggravates and that sort of thing in as well. We will not be building the entire team today. Because everyone has some degree of builtness. You know, they're not like all the best built. They all somewhat kind of built it to some degree. So we don't need to worry about one of the characters holding up the rest of the team. So we're mainly going to be focusing on Clorand. And the rest of the team will get their own videos. Because since there is no new Fontaine characters and, you know, there's nothing really we, can, we can't pull for anyone else. And there's not that many more Fontaine characters we need to get. So because of that, we are just going to be doing a lot of videos where I just go through and build up every character. And fully max them out to as best as I can. And as you can see from the damage at the moment against Hydra enemies, so we're getting electro charge reactions. We're hitting about six and a half K, which is about how much we do against any enemy, really. So we are looking to increase that damage to maybe 10 or plus K. That would be where I'd like to get to. Okay, well, there is all of the tainted water things done. Is that enough to get this weapon up again? It will be once I craft some. So now we're on to these guys. Hey, would you look at that? Someone who got lucky. Wish my support's only account was like that. Okay, well, there is all of those guys done. That, we're going to need to do some crafting, but it gets us some more stuff. 
So that's good. We should be able to get it to level 80. Now, Clarand herself needs these. Let me go do these first because why not? And we should have enough, hopefully, to get all of these. We only need 60. I think there's 75 in the world. Actually, we need less than 60. We need 54, I think. I think we have we already have six. Okay. Is that enough? That is bang on enough. Lovely. Now we just have these things. Also, Genshin, we've got to stop with the killing cute things to get drops. First, we have Fontaine with the seals. Now we have Natlan with the, the Saurians, the, the little little baby Saurians. Please stop. Especially the seals, because they don't even fight back. So I actually thought ahead for once. And both the domains that I need stuff for for Clarand, that one, and her weapon domain, both of them are open today. Because I thought ahead and made sure that I wasn't recording when they weren't open. Okay, and there is all of the things these things defeated so uh, let's go see how much we can craft i'm honestly not liking our chances too much especially for those drops that we just farmed let's see though so we're gonna need more of these we can uh, no these we can craft seven of them don't know if that's gonna be enough but it doesn't really matter anyway because i can just craft more we can craft plenty of them but we'll get back to that these, I think we also need a couple more, I think. Ten should be enough. And now we need these. We can only craft five of the highest grade. Only 17 of the lowest, which only gets us 11, which is uh, not enough. We are 10 short. Well, it appears like I'm going to need to use the interactive map to find more of these guys. Because I am severely lacking on them and I need a lot more. They really need to show more of these enemies in the game because there is an overwhelming amount of them. I just loaded up in the interactive map and just selected these guys which are the seals and the crabs. I didn't bother doing the seahorses because they also have the same drops but I just did the seals and the crabs and there is way too many of them. It is so overwhelming. So because we can I'm just going to get all of them because I'm going to need the highest grade for talents anyway although i will leave two because i do need her thing does this need nine it needs nine of course it needs nine we well, just buy one there we go but now we have enough only just but enough to level 90 clarand which is our first level 90 character on this account I thought it would be Nouvellette, but it's Clarand. Now we can deal with all this stuff. I'll probably do, say, tomorrow. I'll just craft two of those books, and then I can get that one up to six as well. But I do not really feel like going and farming more crabs today. So, because I can, and they should reset by tomorrow. Let me check that, actually. Nine hours. Okay, yeah, they will reset tomorrow. So I think what I'm going to do is leave this until tomorrow because in the game it's still today. So these will still be open if I need to farm any of her talent or weapon materials. Speaking of which, we can get a weapon up to 80. There we go. Probably won't be able to push 90, though I can have a look. Three handguards acquired. That gives us 12. These we can craft 23. So let's leave a couple just for other weapons if we need it and we can craft the four of them we need which just leaves these things these ones here which we are going to need a lot more of we need how much should i say like not that we need a lot more than what we've got we need two more four more you know what that shouldn't be a problem we should realistically only need like one of these. So one or two of these hydro tainted, whatever they're called, drops that we need. It's probably going to be more than that, but it, it won't be that many. We should be able to get it pretty easy. Because unlike everything else, these are pretty generous with their drops. So weapon up to 90. That gives us an achievement. And it also gives us our first level 90 weapon, which means now... Clarand's weapon is level 90 and Clarand is level 90, giving a 2k attack, 20k HP, 52 to 180 crit, leaving us with her talents 
We just need more of these, which are currently not available, and I don't want to farm anymore. And Wuthering Waves live stream starts soon. So that's a good that, that's a good point for today. I will see you all tomorrow, and we'll get Cloran fully maxed out and get some damage testing. So before I miss the live stream, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, we are back. I have already done the farming today because it's not very interesting, so I just got it out of the way. Also, I doubt you can hear it, but it is currently very rainy outside, so you might hear that. I doubt it, but you might. I have also done some work to Cloran's artifacts. As you can see, we're sitting at a very different stats at the moment. We have 2,265 attack. We're running 47 to 202. I would like the crit rate a little bit higher, but I'm happy with the high crit damage. I mean, everyone's running that pretty low crit rate anyway, and it, we get away with it. I am generally run way too low crit rate anyway, so it's not really a problem. I would like to up it a little bit, but I'll happily run these stats over, I think it was about 52 to like 180, I think is what we were running before. And I'd happily take this 47 to 202. We're only losing out a little bit of crit rate, so I would like, I'm happy with this. I've swapped up the pieces. And I could change them even more if I wanted, but I'm pretty happy with this build. We are currently running an off-piece feather with a load of crit damage and then not very much crit rate. So if, if that had rolled, I think it rolled once into ER. If it had rolled that ER roll into crit rate, then that would be a re really good piece. Otherwise, all the other pieces are exactly the same. Brick, it is a goddamn hurricane out there right now. It is bucketing down. So I've got to try to get this video done quickly before my internet or computer or everything dies. Because it is... It is coming down out there, Jesus Christ. Okay, so before everything dies, I have farmed weekly bosses for this week because I could, so I just farmed them just so I didn't need to think about it. And also, I wanted to get all of Kulran's talents up to seven. So we can do that now. I can get each of them up to seven. I could only do, you know, one of them up all the way or like one up to eight and one up to seven. But I'm going to get all of them up to seven because I want to do that anyway. Plus... Around talents confuse me. I don't know if we want to do a skill over a normal attack or whatever, so I'm just going to get everything up to seven. So now that is Clorand as built as we can get. We are running seven all across the board on talents. She is C0 running the Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy Decent Pieces. She is running a level 90 Finale of the Deep. She is obviously level 90, running 19,000 HP, 2.2 thousand attack, 47 to 202 with 111 bang on crit not crit, energy recharge, and 46.6 electro damage bonus. So with all that being done, let's go see what she does damage wise. I don't have my good Kenki unlocked at this account, so I can't do damage tests on him, which is a shame. Actually, what we do have is this new event. Let's go test out her damage here, because I mean, why not? It'll give us a lot of enemies. She, don't, she tends to do a little bit better with multiple enemies, so it'll give us plenty of enemies to test out it on, as well as just having enemies tested on we're going to run probably level 70 because level 90 is going to be too hard with the scout and i am only going for 2000 points just so they can get the primos that's it now this first half is going to be a pain but luckily they give us a navia trial so we're 100 using navia then we will just use any other characters those should work and then we're going to run our clan team in this second half which is that so let's see how this goes. This does, this will probably change our damage a little bit because we are getting buffs from here, but it'll give us a rough damage test. And I can always just go out and test it in the overworld to double check that, that, that what that damage was. So let's go see what Cloran does now with a couple little small buffs. So we're going to go unbuff damage. We are hitting 5k. I, yeah, okay. I think I saw a 5k in there, which is better, I think. I honestly forgot what she did buffed. But let's try it with Pyro application now. I've seen some 6Ks, some 10Ks. Yeah, I see about 10K there. And pretty consistent 10K because she hits quite often. So we are actually shredding through this. Oh my god. They are only level 70 enemies, but still we are shredding. Yeah, 7Ks in there. And now we're back to unbuffed, hitting around that 9K. Now, how much does her burst do? Uh, I think I saw a 17k in there, maybe. And back to those 10ks again. Which is pretty good, honestly. 10k is about a 2k increase. That did 15, 17ks in there as well. Which is about that 2 to 5k increase, I think. 
I think she was hitting around like 7k or 6k before. So pretty solid increase, I'd have to say. Definitely good damage. And we get 2,000 points, which means I get the primos I wanted and I can leave and don't have to worry about this because I don't really care about anything else because I can't do it. Okay, now we have tested it in there. I do want to actually test it out on something in the overworld just to get damage without having any of the buffs in there. Not that they were very big buffs, but I do want to test it on something over here somewhere. So let's see what I could test it on. Cryo Reg is fine again. Yeah, screw it. Let's just do Cryo Reg is fine. It's easy. It'll give us a decent-ish test. And damage. We're hitting... 6k, 5k's, I don't have any pyro applications, so I'm not doing the right damage, but I hit about 9k, burst, 17k, yeah, okay, there's the 10k's, there we go, yeah, 10,246, yeah, 10,246, that's about what we are hitting, which is pretty good, to be honest, I'd like maybe a tiny bit more, but it is pretty good damage, it does give us about a 2 or 3k damage increase from what we were previously running, which is about that 6 or 7k, I think. So pretty good. We will need to probably work on artifacts a little bit more just to try to get her crit rate up a little bit. But otherwise, it's not bad. Getting her on a crit weapon would also help. But that is something we do not have and I don't expect to have anytime soon. So I'd say that's Clorand pretty well built. It is still technically Clorand's birthday, so... We've still built her on her birthday, even though for me it's the next day, but it doesn't really matter. In the game, it's still her birthday. She does pretty solid damage now. She's definitely... I don't think she's quite the best DPS to count, but she's she's pretty good now. She does some solid damage, and she holds her own in battle, I guess. And in the time we've been recording this, that storm has already disappeared. It started as I started recording, and it's gone already. Been 17 minutes. Classic Australian storms. They last for a tiny bit and then disappear. So yeah, with that being said, I think that's where we're going to leave it off. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Claren does big damage. She has increased, but I'm pretty sure that attack is because of Chevrus here with Noblesse Obliged, which is very, very nice. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave it off here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye. Into the